Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So uh, looking at Block Lords, so the uh, community beta has been live now for um, about a week, um, so another three weeks to go. Um, but before we delve into that, um, also sort of in conjunction with that, Block Lords has launched the, um, the sale of its heroes. So hero characters are specific uh, NFTs in the game, uh, are high, high level um, from the sort of uh, in-game sort of farmers and, and, and other sort of uh, units you have. So it's a, a medieval strategy game. So some of these NFTs could be used in the game to sort of boost activities. Um, but th these uh, lords or ladies are are sort of a, the high level sort of uh, NFTs. I'm not quite sure how many there are. Maybe I should look into that a bit more. Um, but uh, these are the ones, they are sort of a legendary heroes. And these are ones um, that can be sort of the ruler of a region in the game. So you need one of these to be a ruler and sort of have extra sort of powers in the game. Um, it doesn't mean because you have one of these, you are going to be a ruler in the game. I think that there will be like a limited opportunity. Um, that's my sort of guess on here. So you have to buy, you have to have one of these in order to even have the opportunity, but then you still have to sort of, um, as a gameplay mechanic, still have to be able to, <laughs> you know, become a ruler, I guess, by having... Um, uh, assets and, and maybe uh, having an army and taking stuff over. Anyway, um, so if you are a lord or lady, you can rule the other live players in your land. You control the taxes, that's a key thing. You can set bounties on raiders. You can hire city guards and start the game with specialised stats and traits. So as well as being the, the lord, you will also have the land like any other player would have. So um, these have just gone live. There have been some launched in the past. So I don't, say, I don't know how many there are. Um, out there, but this is sort of the current wave. Um, so, so um, Arthur the the Ard, um, three thousand Matic. So that's you know whatever Matic is these days. It's about three thousand dollars. That's not nothing. Um, there's a few other ones. So there's this one, um, six thousand, and uh, this one, eight thousand. So um, pretty expensive item. So, so new ones arriving every day. You can see there's a time down. So every it looks it looks like every twenty four hours um, they are, or every you know every uh, so every 48, 48 hours, this is, yeah, 48 hours, they're launching um, more of these. Um, which is sort of interesting in the sense that they, they say, that, you know, this is, well, this is 3,000 and this is 8,000. So 8,000, well, that's going to be, that's going to be like four ETH, <laughs> which is, which is pretty, pretty expensive. Um, uh, although I'd say, obviously, they have functionality, extra functionality in the game. And if you're a lord, you can set the tax and you get the tax. So there is you know, some idea of, I guess, of some sort of, um, ec economic model here. Um, but what's sort of weird though is, is like, I mean, particularly this one here. So I don't know if this is written by AI or something, but it says Stinky the name flavors the game. Despite her pungent reputation, this Sue is no Sue chef. As her stench draws closer, birds fall from the sky and children cry in the streets. So, um, which is sort of humorous, but then you are trying to get someone to spend six thousand dollars <laughs> on the character, which seems to me a little bit odd. Um, there we go. We can see here. Um, so these are, I think, are the, um, yeah, these are sort of the, the buffs you get. So um, so increases the tool production because of the blacksmith, uh, increases bread production, boosts construction speed, uh, reduces wood uh, cost and increases stamina, uh, the max stamina. So so this would be, this would increase the max stamina, I'm guessing, of all your, um, of all your units in the game. So that's sort of pretty um, sort of powerful, um, whether it's worth 3,000, uh, or six thousand dollars here, or three thousand more than the other one. Um, you know, we'll wait and see. So, so this is this stuff's going on. Um, interesting to see whether it, it it takes off. Obviously, you know, market market conditions at the moment are not great. So, um, people in and certainly for NFTs, um, the situation is not great. People are not spending lots of money on NFTs. This this a year ago probably would have people would have been sort of interested, more interested at least. Um, but in the meantime, let's have a quick look at uh, the game itself, just to remind us. So here we are um, in the game, PC download. Um, as I say, this is the beta, um, a community beta. So this character here, Eliza Spectacle, she would be one of those Lord characters. Uh, and as we see here, this is the land that I happen to be in, the region. Um, and we can see here the city, this is what's in the city coffers. So these are the these are the um, resources that, that uh, basically she has taken as uh, tax. And here's the tax policy. Um, oh no, sorry, that's the other, that's the, that's the unclaimed region. So here we are. Her tax policy is 0% on level one players um, and then rising to 8% on level six players, whereas, you know, other areas have 
Um, you can set the different tax policy. This one, Brutalist 4, has 30% um, at level 6. Uh, but obviously, if you're setting that out, then you have to probably be a more, you know, you have to be using those, those that tax in, in a certain way and stop people getting attacked or something. You know, you can't just sort of set a tax policy. If you set it too high, obviously, people are going to come in and uh, people, or people are going to move <laughs> from your region to another region. Um, it's a nice little one here, a little island here, Megan Smith, what she got going on. Um, interesting tax policy at level four. Um, I don't know if these are real players or not, um, or whether they are just AIs, because this is the, obviously this is the beta. Anyway, so my farm is here. Let's go back to my farm. And this is uh, the experience that the majority of players will get. Only the, only the players with the very high level NFTs will get to set the tax policy. Um, but what I'm doing here is my um, just general resource sort of stuff. Um, so... But my village is working to, oh no, they don't seem to be working at all. Um, that's not very good, so let's get them. Um, oh, they are, oh, they are working, or are they not? I don't know. Let's um, reset them. Let's get them foraging. Um, I think because I've just switched it off. Um, these ones maybe. Because this is a beta, then maybe some of the UI is not working terribly well. So my, um, yeah, I think it's just saying Z's because I've just logged in and logged out again. Um, so they are all doing different things. There's some farmers, what are they up to? Um, farmers should be. Oh, they're here. I don't think they are doing anything. There. Um, so let's get some farmers. Oh, they're planting, I think. Okay. So that's the sort of stuff that's going on here. Got a whole bunch of resources wood, uh, stone that's used for building, um, there's tools also used. Uh, food, so a bunch of stuff goes into the food. Um, so maybe my cook, uh, oh, we can set her to make some grain. And off she goes. And obviously, she, anyone who's working is using up energy, and once they've not got any energy, so the hunters are at rest. So they've got to go and go and let them refill their stamina, uh, have some dinner. Um, so that's what's going on there and then i can go um to the city and this is if you were the leader what you would be uh setting some of these things most of these things are locked at the moment or many of these things are locked at the moment if you're in the city hall you would be have a daily list of stuff you could you could be setting the tax policy i'm not the ruler so i can't do this but you can see there's timers on the tax policy so they can um uh, the this is the levels so unknown established notorious so i'm level three um, I think at the moment, um, there's particular missions if you're a city uh, leader, there's particular um, developments you can do. Um, and then there are city coffers, is, this, is the, this is what you have earned by taxing people. So obviously you could claim some of that if you wanted. Um, and then for everyone else there's the marketplace where we can go and buy some stuff. So some of these resources, if we wanted, we can spend our gold buying some of these resources um, that are, or, or we can, um, if we want gold, we can go and sell some of our resources um, that we are creating on our farm and get gold, because gold is sort of a, you need gold to do some things. So that's what's going on at the moment with Block Lords. Um, the main thing at the moment is that the game's not live, there's loads of features that are not there, so, so you can't level up any of the buildings. Um, it says they're gonna add new things in there. So I don't know if that will come in the in this beta version or whether another version. Um, but there's also these season missions. So uh, spend 200 grain. So I've done that. So I can go and claim, and I'm going to get some XP and some. Uh, this is called might, and that's how you level up your sort of uh, uh, level up your sort of um, farm. Um, so next one is collect 500 wheat. So I need to do that, and there's probably a few others uh, that I haven't not quite not quite done yet. Um, we'll get collect stone, so I've got quite a bit to go on that. Collect meats, collect bread, these are on timers, um, and then there's some these are the um, ones that are running, I think, over the entire um, beta. So 24 days to go. So um, we can import heroes, recruit squads, collect resources, um, and then there's a battle pass here. So I've only done the first one so far. Um, and the point, if you get to the end of that, you get the Legacy Militia NFT, uh, which will then obviously you will get that in the game um, when it goes live properly. Um, and a little event that's happened here. 
So um, these are just sort of, there's only a few of these, these are just repeated over and over again, they're sort of little, little things that you, uh, you have to do and uh, you get sort of little pluses or minuses of, of resources um, for doing that as well. So I'm um, still sort of cracking on with with the game. It's still, you know, it's early, it's sort of the stage it's at now, it's sort of qu quite grindy um, because I've gone through the tutorial um, and now I'm just grinding. <laughs> um, and I guess, you know, this is a community speaker, so they're looking for bugs and all that sort of stuff and seeing how many people they can get and, and all that. Um, so there we go. Um, thanks for watching the video. Um, see you again soon.